you've got a product-based site that is a massive, huge, generalist warehouse offering, what you've then got to do is un uh, make it clear to all the sort of various groups, segments, tribes, sectors, whatever you want to call it, groups of people, tradesmen, however they sort of uh, you delineate them. You've got to make it clear to all of those groups that they are in the right place. Yes. So I like this idea that you know you can switch views, which we were talking about of, you know. It, um, are you buying something uh, for the domestic market? Right, okay, it switches off all the commercial industrial stuff, and yeah. vice versa. Are you a small tradesman? Okay, well, this is the sort of stuff you want to be into Makita mm. or whatever. Oh, if, if it's glorified hobbyists who are buying, I know Scrooge sell a lot to the domestic market, don't they? Mm. Then you might be in a different range of tools, different type of power tools, where I, there's, there's just no way I'd spend more than 100 quid on a drill, I'd spend a thousand. But you know, you've got to right, give the right products to the right kind of people. Yeah. Uh, it, with the right kind of service, haven't you? And, and this is an approach, and maybe the sort of, are you this, are you that, what kind of group are you, are you a tradesman, okay? Helping people very quickly understand that your 45,000, 49,000 products is, is, is a benefit because you help them access them. Yeah. 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 So what, the, the other thing that you, the, the, that's difficult for you is that it's a product-led site. It is, yeah. And totally unashamedly, because that's what people are there for. But how do you balance the fact that you do need some copy on the website? Because all of this is your real estate, isn't it? Every bit of space that you don't it occupy is. the product. I mean, what we've got for, for your kind of written content potentially takes away from sell opportunities, and you've got to get that balance, haven't you? Well, what we've got there, we've got there, John, we've got like, pictures of all the, the team like, winning the awards and uh, etc. We've got like, images of, of people, which I think always works well. Yeah. We, we need to do a bit more with that. I think the RSS uh, feeds will help, where people, if they want to buy into it and get latest yeah. news, they can do. I think what one thing that I'm going to have to do, um, I'm not overly comfortable on camera, uh, even though it may come across way, I'm not that way, I don't know. Depends on the people who's watching it. Uh, it's possibly on the, the About Us page uh, of me speaking yeah. uh, about the company. Um, possibly not even on the About Us page, possibly on the home. Possibly, you know, yeah. May, maybe, you know, we look at this banner space up here, and we go, okay, eye tracker says that not a great deal of number, number of people are looking at it, but what if we had a shot, the right kind of shot of the team? Yes. You know, yeah. we get a sense that Holdfast is it's real people. You can set, you can tell that's not stock car. It's real people. It looks like you. You know, yeah. you don't look too stock with the with the greatest respect in the world. You know, no. and you would you, you would look credible in what that kind of position. So per <laughs> <laughs> perhaps we've got you on there on a video. Perhaps we've got we've got it on there. I, I would sacrifice some product space. Yeah. In order to project this idea that look, we've got everything, but we've got this good system for helping you get to it. Yeah. And we've got these personalities behind it. Yeah. You know, this is what we kind of stand for, really. I mean, one of the other things that I want to do as well is, um, um, I want, as part of contextualising the search, I want to also then be able to have uh, certain products. You can't, I mean, it'd be impossible when you've got forty-eight thousand products to video all of them. But certainly, in the new product ranges that we bring on board, video them, show them how they use, like on that. That ladder there, how the brake works, how easy yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely. Like someone walking up and like the safety yeah. features. Absolutely. Got to have some, got to have some video on there. And we found out that's not a difficult thing to do, really. No. You got um, footbar facilities. One thing that I've definitely got to do is either have silos on the side, or uh, I don't know, go, go along the line of the the only pop uh, sort of uh, thing. Yeah. You know, where you 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 pull out specific product ranges like it'd be a core range of specialist fasteners. Yeah. So it needs a dedicated sign. And you showcase the, the yeah. top, top selling top ten percent of sellers. Yeah. Which will probably account for ninety percent of sales kind of thing. So yeah. yeah exactly. So it's it's not it's, it's not like it's not like you have to do a broad brush effort across forty odd thousand products. It is cherry pick the ones which you think are really gonna go have maximum margin on it that position you best as a kind of business really. Exactly. But I think I think one other thing about yours is that you look at Screwfix, Screwfix is this really big organisation, yeah, as, as a rival. Yeah. You have got sort of roughly equivalent products range, you're possibly slightly ahead in the, the actual sort of full range of products that you've got on there. But I think you've got an opportunity to go, look, we are, uh, as, in a way we are a small dedicated business that has the clout of Screwfix, yeah. but the individuality and you know, the accountability of a smaller, dedicated business. I think you know what I mean? I do. I so don't, don't try too hard to feel like 
you're a massive corporate. No, no. I have I the benefits of both almost on your website. I think the, the beauty of it is, I mean anyone from Screwfix watching this, this video will think, who is this guy who start this out and the other, but we better watch out because uh, the reality of it is, um, we, we, I, know, I know about them, they don't know about, about Holfast and one, once we use uh, paper clip, which we've never used, once yeah. we, we actually start doing things properly, we will start hurting bigger yeah. companies. I mean, uh, obviously some of these guys are doing massive turnovers, but I, I would personally be worried if I, if I were them looking at the end of this process. We've got so many basics that you can build into this website and this business. Yeah. Yet, fundamentally, it's still working well. Definitely. So, you know, this is a great kind of opportunity, to, just over a period of time, layer into it and keep observing. It's an iterative process, really, of putting put in place improvements, see what affects, and it won't be plain sailing all the way. You'll be you'll, you'll do something and go, that should have worked. Yeah. Eye tracker should that should have worked. It hasn't. Okay, let's take it apart and wonder why kind mm. of thing. But you've got the basics kind of in place. Take me through some of the some of the things that you found along the way. Then. Well, I mean, this single biggest standout moment for me was the realization that there's no point uh, being top of the organic search if no one's searching for it. Yeah. Now, I mean. This here shows plastic fasteners into Google uh, with top of rankings. There's a lot of people who do pay per click. There's, a there's only a thousand searches per month. Right. Uh, but it does generate a lot of business for us. Yeah, uh, so you are top top position, so we found out you should be picking up 40% of that, yeah, and we that traffic into your website. Yeah, and that, So that correlated out? It, it does. Sound, yeah, right, okay. And then you've got quarter turn fasteners uh, with first and second organic. Again, a lot of people who are uh, pay per click. and. I came on this course a little bit, not arrogantly, because I came on this course a bit worried, thinking, well, everyone's going to know more about it than me, about websites, I don't know anything. And I think that's a, uh, a big plus point for the course, that uh, different skill uh, types can come on and get so much out of the course. Yeah. But I came on the course thinking, well, we're top of rankings, like, uh, there is a lot we need to do, but uh, actual uh, organic search-wise, we're, we're yeah. doing fine. But then you, you like find keywords like industrial supplies, and there's 600,000 searches per month for industrial supplies. Yeah, and we're top of page five. Yeah. So, and, and the the benefits and the rewards of, on that key phrase for moving from page what to page five? Page five. Page five to page one, and then moving up through page one are just astronomical based on that amount of traffic. It's absolutely massive. So you do have a plum key phrase to target and have a go at, but you should also obviously target some of the sort of torso and long, yeah. long tail phrases and, and, and the guerrilla marketing tactic side of this it, it suggests that if you want to pick screw fix off um, by all means go head to head on that organic key phrase yeah. and you might well be able to do it if you're very very focused but you might pick them off yeah. better by by targeting some more some more niches well, and, and getting yourself established within a series of niches and, per, and perhaps they haven't got a real long tail strategy in place and they're just going with a big sort of traditional think, corporate kind of strategy. I think long tail should worry all big companies because yeah. you've got, we're, we're, don't get me wrong, we're not a company who works from a bedroom. We've, we've got good employees, we've got a good facility be, behind us now. Yeah. But we're a small, a small fry compared to some of these big people. However, uh, I believe long tail is not only about uh, niche marketing, it's about niche services. Now, yeah. we've got uh, maybe specific keywords we can focus on where pay per click and organic are we H1 tags, etc. But this, I, I class uh, long tailers um, having no small order value, uh, the quantity, yeah. uh, small uh, free delivery on online orders, um, which no one else does. Yeah. No one else does it in our industry. Yeah. Now, that's again, some, some people are looking for that, some yeah. people aren't looking for it. Um, you've then got general industrial um, sort of in the meat middle, and then in the end, you've got the last, uh, large mass market. Now, we are competitive on certain product ranges, our core one being <coughs> specialist fasteners on bulk quantities. Yeah. We can compete with anybody on price because predominantly our overheads are low and our cost base is the same. Yeah. But uh, when it comes to long tail, the, our prices are unquantifiable because no one's supplying the quantities we exactly. supply. So how do you, how do you date it? How exactly. do you price it? Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's, that's potentially a really good advantage for you. Because, isn't it?